The ITEL P37 is the direct successor of the ITEL P36 of last year. But unlike the ITEL P36, the all-new P37 comes with a better display, larger memory and storage space than Android version 10, although it still lacks a 4G LTE network to the advantage of the P37 Pro. What's up guys, it's Victor here again. I have timestamps as a table of contents to this ITEL P37 unboxing and review video in the description box below so you can get to where you want to be quickly informed about quickly. Please subscribe to the channel if you are not and also ring the bell so that you'll be notified the next time and every other time I post a new video like this one. The ITEL P37 is a basic smartphone targeted at the entry level smartphone market. Costing only 80 US dollars or 38,000 Nigerian Nairas, is it worth the price tag or is it worth the upgrade that's coming from the ITEL P36? Before we get into that part, let's enjoy this unboxing experience. The phone is packed in a red container as always for every ITEL device. On the pack, you will see key specs highlighted 2GB RAM, 32GB ROM big memory, 5000mAh big AI powered master battery. Mad. Full screen big water drop, AI dual rear big camera, and a whole lot of other big things. Wow, see, Olamide signed this one with a golden pen. That means Olamide is using this phone. Not be juju be that. Back to the unboxing, guys. See, the outer pack is a pack to another inner pack, just like this door opener is an opener to another door opener. Does that make sense? <laughs> Let's break this seal. And finally, we are in. We are first greeted by a white envelope housing the hard plastic case, then the phone itself which looks better than the P36s and feels good to hold. The phone sits tightly inside the case when I tried it and will surely get back to this. Probing further into the bus, we have a 5 watts charging brick, then micro USB 2.0, truly expected at this price range. But when are we going to see USB-C on an ITEL device? Think about it and let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Next is the earpiece and that is sincerely everything in the box. Back to the ITEL P37. The P37 has a 6.5 inch HD plus display with 720 by 1600 pixels on the front as well as a notch above the screen. The display is surprisingly sweet to behold, the color is vibrant, punchy and sharp, making content consumption enjoyable here. On the right of the device are the volume rockers and power button, the headphone jack is seated at the top, beneath the device you would find a microphone and USB port for charging and file transfer. For the camera department, you are getting two lenses at the back of the phone, an 8 megapixel main snapper, a 0.3 megapixel depth sensing lens and an LED flash while a single 8 megapixel selfie shooter is fixed in the notch up front. Also at the back, you get a fingerprint sensor that is not so fast but gets the job done. Really, at this price, this is fantastic. I have a problem with the placement of the finger sensor. You would need to always stretch your fingers to reach it. Still on the back, you get ITEL branding and the backfiring speaker hole. To access the dual SIM card and memory card slot, you'd have to open the back cover of the device which was at first tricky to figure out where and how to open the cover. On the inside, the new ITEL P37 is powered by a quad-core Unisoc processor running at 1.3 GHz along with a Mali T820 MP1 GPU, 2 gigs of RAM and 32 gigs of internal storage. Performance is what you would expect from an entry-level device. It's usable and can get basic tasks done, but don't try to play Call of Duty Mobile here. I tried Call of Duty here and the experience was an $80 experience. The software here is called ITEL OS, which is essentially Android 10 Go garnished and customized by ITEL. Here you get one handed mode, dark theme, screenshot, and nearby share. You also have Social Tubo, which is a powerful assistant for chatting apps like WhatsApp, Facebook Messenger, and the likes. There is also an option to activate gesture navigation here. The camera is what you would want from an $80 US dollars device. At least I prefer the shorter sound to that of Techno and Infinix cameras. The P37 shoots only 720p videos and this is how it looks and sounds. So, the camera of the ITEL P37, the front facing camera, and 
decent. <laughs> Nothing breathtaking. It's just there. The ITEL P37 has a 5000 mAh battery and a 5 watts charger out of the box. For me, I think this device is a great deal for 38,000 Nairas or 80 US dollars. You get a very decent screen, a comfortable build, a software with all the basic features you would need on a smartphone. At this price point, I'm sure no one is expecting the ITEL P37 to have a 120Hz refresh rate or a 4K display or maybe a 64 megapixel camera. If you want more power and more features, you can go for the ITEL P37 Pro, which comes with a slightly larger 6.8 inches display, a 30 megapixel main camera, 3 gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of internal storage, and it has 4G LTE connectivity. The ITEL P37 is a smartphone for people who want a functional mobile phone, who want to spend a quarter the price of Techno Camon 17 Pro, or half the price of Infinix Hot 20. If you have any questions pertaining the ITEL P37 that I haven't mentioned or covered in this video, let me know in the comments below and I will be delighted to answer as soon as possible. Subscribe if you're not, like and share if it was helpful. Thank you for watching this one and I'll see you when I see you in the next one. Peace.